Blair of the Mounties, a story of the Royal Northwest Mounted Police. We present the first episode of Blair of the Mounties. Thirty years ago, away up in the Canadian Arctic, wandering prospectors discovered a mysterious warm valley, a region of hot springs where flowering shrubs and luxuriant vegetation flourish the whole year through. Around the mysterious legend of Fire Valley, tonight's episode has been woven. As the story opens, we find Sergeant Blair of the Northwest Mounted Police and old Angus McGregor, Hudson Bay Factor, smoking by the fire. Throw up to the stool, Sergeant. <laughs> Yon's a Cornish. Yes, pretty cold, Angus. Heavens, what a country for a man to spend his days in. Aye, she's a hard country. But tell me, what about young story of Fire Valley? Oh, yes. Well, it was one afternoon in the late fall when the news came in that Corporal Leslie had been missing from Bear Creek for a week. The Indians had a queer story. Said that Leslie had been stolen away by ghosts. Ghosts, you say? Well, hmm. that was the story. Indians from the Badlands said they'd seen the ghosts heading north with the white man. Man, that was funny. Funny, yes. But the queerest thing of all was that our next clue came from England. Eh? Free England? Yes. Leslie's mother, Lady Danbury, had a dream. Oh, a dream, you say? Yes. Let's see if I can describe it to you. Did you ring, me lady? Yes, Dawson. Is Lord Danbury down yet? Yes, me lady. He's out in the rose garden. Shall I call him, me lady? No, thanks, Dawson. I'll go out to him. Oh, Robert. Yes? Good morning, Marion. By Jove, what makes you so pale? Didn't you sleep well? No, I had the most terrible dream I want to tell you about. A dream? Oh, come now, Marion. That's ridiculous. Come, come, better forget it. Oh, but listen, Robert. It means something, I'm sure it does. I dreamed about Alan. About Alan? Fiddlesticks. Just a touch of indigestion, my dear. Oh, but please, Robert, at least let me tell you about hmm. it. Well, well. Oh, all right. It was so utterly realistic. I saw Alan plainly. He was in some trouble, imploring me to help him. Oh, look here, Marion. Alan is probably safe and sound out there in Canada. I tell you, he isn't. Something's terribly wrong. I saw Alan standing under a strange overhanging rock. I know something's happened to him. Really, Marion, this is preposterous. <laughs> oh, uh, hello, Dawson. What do you want? Begging your pardon, my lord. This here telegram just arrived. Oh, telegram? All right. Good heavens, it's a cablegram from Canada. From Canada? Oh dear, what is it? Of all the astonishing things. Listen to this. It's from the Commissioner of the Royal Northwest Mounted Police in Ottawa. Regret to advise your son, Corporal A.C.M. Leslie, missing. <gasps> missing from Thunder Bay Detachment since October 10th. So far, no trace. Well, upon my soul, Marion... What do you think of that? Now will you believe in my dream? Dream? Stuff and nonsense. And you say you saw him standing under some confounded rock or other. Oh, bah, disgusting, I call but it. But we must do something about it. Do something? Just because that young idiot goes and pushes off into the jungle or, or whatever they call it out there, you tell me to do something. Why, it's positively insane. Robert, I'm going to Canada. What? Uh, uh, hang it all. Uh, 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 I won't allow it. It's, it's, it's idiotic. It's, uh, 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 my dear Marion, you, 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 you don't really mean that. I most certainly do. Oh, preposterous. I've looked up the sailings of Winnetoba sails on Wednesday. The Winnetoba? Why, she's the foulest old tub afloat. If I have to go on this wild goose chase, we go by the Cunard. We shall be in Edmonton in 18 days. Then you will go, dear. Oh, I suppose so. Never get any peace if I don't. Splendid, you're such a sweet old thing, oh, Robert. Sweet old thing. Weak minded old idiot. Always giving in to these confounded women. Hello there, Sergeant. Hello, Mac. Did you have a talk with his lordship? Yes, I had a long talk with him and Lady Danbury. Hold on now. What's that picture do you have there? Why, it's a sketch Lady Danbury made. That queer shaped rock is where she saw her son standing in her dream. In a dream? And they came all the way from England to tell you about a dream? Yes, funny. But we've got to humor them. They're mighty important people. But look at them trays with leaves on them. Them's poplars. Sure, there's plenty of them up north. Yes, it's clear that. 
And of course, there wouldn't be any poplars with leaves on them this time of the year. Oh, policeman chief. Um, pretty cold. Oh, hello. Day. Hello, Joe. Come in and get warm. Huh? Matiki Manitou. Hey, that Joe doesn't like that picture. Why you get him that picture? What's wrong, Joe? Him bad picture. No good. You no keep him. What? You know that place, Joe? Yeah, I know him. Him bad place. Here, hold on, Joe. Good heavens, what a thing if that dream should be true. Uh, him no good place. Here, Joe, what do you call him that place? Uh, Injun man, him call him Pakawan Indio. Pakawan? Why, good Lord, that's Fire Valley. Joe, maybe you'll make mistake. No, me know him. Man go Pakawan, him never come. Here, wait a minute, Joe. You know trail to that place? Yeah, I know him. Long way, bad trail. Joe no go. No like him, Pakawan. Hold on, you my friend, Joe. Eh? Yeah, you good man, policeman chief. All right, Joe, maybe I go Pakawan. Mm. Maybe policeman Rafferty, him go too. Maybe I tell him big white chief, Joe, him scared go Pakawan. What do you say, Joe? Hmm. Maybe you go, policeman chief. Joe, him go too. Right. You find him, little bear, Joe. Tomorrow, daylight, we go. Huh. Policeman chief, tomorrow, daylight, I go. Well, by the holy poker, that's a fine trip you're after planning. Slap through the badlands in the dead of winter. I'm thinking we'll never come through alive. Maybe you're right, Rafferty. It'll be a hard trail, but, well... We're in the police. Aye, we're in the police. Well, what's the orders? Look over the dog teams, Mike. I'll need two sleighs. Stand by to pull out at dawn tomorrow. Okay, Sergeant. I'll be with you. Start up the fire, Mike. I will, that. Uh, say, how are those feet of yours, Mike? Pretty badly swollen? Uh, no, they're not so bad. Uh, think you can make it, old chap? Oh, sure, I'll be all right. But, uh... What, what is this Fire Valley, Sergeant? Why, they say there's a tropical valley up, uh, here in the Arctic, caused by hot springs, most likely. A tropical valley? Well, no, that's a queer thing in a cold country like this, so it is. And yet there's truth in it. They say there's a band of white-faced Indians in there. By golly, no. It might be them ghosts they was talking about. By Jove, yes, it, it might be. But what about that picture? Well, that's the most astounding thing of all. That rock in the picture is the one at the entrance to Fire Valley. Sergeant? Yes? D did you notice how warm it's turned? Yes, that's right. Feels like a Chinook, but it's too far north for that. I wonder. Mm. Hello, Joe. What is it? You come. I'll show what? you. You see a light in the sky? A light? By Jingo, yes. Looks like a big fire. Say, say, Joe, you, you don't mean... That yeah, yeah. Him, Pakwan. Maybe tomorrow. We make him. Mm, so that's why it turns so warm. Well, that's lucky. Another day on that trail and we'd be all in. What is it, Sergeant? Looks like Fire Valley just ahead, Mike. We'll rest up here and move up closer to the valley tomorrow. Look after the dogs, Joe. Yeah. I'll fix them. Well, Mike, do you have a good rest? Ah, <laughs> sure, I feel like a two-year-old, Sergeant. Did you have a look at the valley? Yes, only a few hundred yards through the bush. Did you see anything? Well, no, the place seems as quiet as a grave. But we found that big rock. You did? Yes, just like it is in the picture. We didn't go beyond the rock, but we'll have a look tonight. It'll soon be dark now. You got it. It's a spooky business. Hello, there's Joe. What's wrong, I wonder? Mm. Uh, what is it, Joe? Oh, policeman chief. Woman, she come. A woman? Yeah, she come by a trail. Sure, and it's a woman, all right. And a good looker for an engine. Hey, what do you want, young lady? My name, oh, Nita. I live back a one. Well, why you come? <laughs> You come, Paka one. I show you what I show you, white man. His name Lindley. Mother of mercy. Does she mean Leslie? Yes. Good heavens, Leslie, here in this place. Look out now, Sergeant. It may be a trap. Oh, no. Lindley, my friend. You no come tonight, Lindley die. Now, look, we got a chance it, Mike. All right, we come. Can you see anything, Sergeant? Yes, there's a path going up the side of this rock. Is Joe there? Sure, he's right behind me. All right, keep your gun handy. Wait, you come. Lenle in this place. We got her. It's a cave. Yes, you know what's the entrance. 
I'm going in. Then they hear, white chief. You see? Oh, Lord, yes. Leslie. All tied up. Oh, Mike. What is it, Sergeant? Let's have your knife. Thanks. That's it. Cut this raw hide lashing. Now the gag. Good. Leslie. Leslie. What? Who? Who's that? Come on, Leslie. This is Sergeant Blair. Sergeant Blair? Why, how did you... Oh, listen. Look out, Sergeant. It's the engine. He said we've started something. All right, Mike. Stand by that engine. Come on, Leslie. Snap into it. Oh, heavens. I was stiff as a board. Oh, I'll be all right in a minute. Look after Anita, Sergeant. She, she saved my life. All right, Leslie. Can you walk? Yes, I, I guess so. Come on, you mother and devil. There's one for you. <laughs> mother and mercy, they got the gun, Sergeant. What? Good Lord. Yes, and she fell over the cliff. Good heavens. Listen. The drums have stopped. By the holy poker, so they have. Yes. Come on, Mike. Now's our chance to make a break for it. It's our only chance. We'll go back along the path and... Man, Sergeant. What a story. But you haven't finished. Uh, what would they be wanting this Leslie for? Well, that was the secret of the whole affair. They believed the time was approaching when their gods would destroy Fire Valley. If they sacrificed a white man, they hoped to avert the danger of the god. Uh, and the sacrifice didn't come off. Eh? No, that's funny too. After our trip, a strong police party went in there. There had been a big volcanic eruption. The whole place was wiped out. <laughs> no, that's queer. And what about Leslie? Oh, we got him back all right. Had quite a time though. Poor little Anita got an arrow slapped through her. She went over the cliff. Leslie was crazy. Then came the trip over the Badlands. It was a nightmare, but we made it. And that Angus... Is a story of Fire Valley. Hey, Mon Sergeant. Yon's a queer story. A strange story indeed. But only one of many and varied adventures of Sergeant Blair as told in this thrilling series. Tune in for our next episode in Blair of the Mounties entitled Murder in Long Coolidge.